Alrighty, let's play this in full first here. No sound. Kaka. Kaka, kaka. Scared human here. And that's it. Alright, I think what works a lot better here, you have some moments right there. When he goes forward with his hands, there's a slight little going down here. And I would do the same thing here. I would keep that head. There's a couple of things here. This feels just a bit too connected where... Connected as in like the head is not separated from this. It doesn't... It just feels like this one piece moves over. I think we can separate that a bit more with the potential... Maybe just straightening up with the body here, but still kind of looking. So rotating that head around. But then you move the head to where it is here when this happens. I feel like that's a fairly big move towards the creature where the creature would react a bit more with the head. Some good stuff there. That especially. As the human goes down, it's almost a bit too in sync. I would delay this by two frames. That whole going down. But then it reacts to it. That's cool. And then on that move here, that's cool too. The biggest thing to me to change is this. I'm still not a super fan of the creature coming towards the guy as the guy goes forward. And a couple of things about this. When you watch this, it feels A, very slow. Where you have also a fairly twinned move as like they both kind of start at the same time. It's more post to posey than... Anything. And it's a very soft little thing down where it feels almost like, oh, let me just slowly investigate this. And also the whole thing kind of moves as one piece there until here. Look at that drop. So to me, I still feel like once he gets closer, if you go forward, then I would bring that paw down sooner for, a, for imagine like a more aggressive stance where it's just like into this extended a bit more. And I don't remember if I asked that before. I'm asking, I guess, again. I don't know if you have anything here in terms of ears or anything here that you can decouple and open as a jaw. Because to me, it feels like if that guy is suddenly going forward and the creature goes forward, then it would be more of a sharper move forward to almost attack and go, <laughs> and whatever <laughs> mechanical sound this creature makes. Or, I think as I mentioned before, actually taking a step back. To be careful, but if you're doing a step forward, I would make this more aggressive. It just seems fairly, fairly tame. And other things I would do, and I know you mentioned here that you're currently working on this and you still have some uh, things you want to do, but you wanted to uh, see what I think currently. I was watch out for moments where body wise, you got stuff where the body goes down and hits a bit of a sharp edge there as it changes. Same thing here as it goes up. Some spacing issues where it feels like that's a big spacing change. And then it's very small through here. And then it goes up again, but kind of locks a bit through there. And you can probably lead this also more with the head, where the head rotate up, then take the neck and then the chest with it. But right now, this is all moving again as one piece. I think that is a bit of a theme throughout. You can see this here as the body goes up. Bam! Hits that wall there so overall it's it's i see this in lots of places so i will go and uh, do another pass on that same thing on tail sometimes the tail is a bit fast in its flick but also sharp in its stop and i don't know if you have control over just this piece rotating sometimes it feels like it does like separate stuff where like i see movement through there but then it's kind of locked, not doing much. And then if you go back, you can see like bigger rotation suddenly. So I don't know if that's something that can be tied a bit more into the body moves, or is that somehow tied to the tail? I'm not quite sure how the how the rig um, functions there. So yeah, to me, it just feels more like a, a polished pass. Um, other than that, there's some cool stuff here where. You got sliding of the legs here. Just watch out. Every now and then it feels like a bit of a pop. How those knees go up and down. But that's that. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.